support our YouTube channel at no additional cost to yourself. Simply change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code or use our affiliate code next time you go to make an Amazon purchase. Link to the affiliate code will be in the description below along with a link to a video explaining more about the process. Hey what's going on guys it is Paul here from the, Pro the uh, Paul Loves Tech channel and today as you can tell by the J track and the wire storage box the three uh, I guess the two sided 3M tape and the uh, cable tunnel things like that you can tell today is cable management day the long awaited day for which I use those objects to conquer the living nightmare that is the cables behind my desk so the plan basically is the source of most of the mess over here is my little USB hub that hid behind my PlayStation before. Now that my PlayStation is going to a different spot, I'll actually be drawing the hole for that today. The PlayStation will be going on this shelf there. I'm going to draw a hole right there next to my Audio Technica box. Anyway, so that with the handy dandy, let me get it for you here. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky right now. Three millimeter tape, or not three, but three M tape. I will be taping that to the underside of the desk so that essentially you won't be able to see it. You won't be able to see the mass amounts of cabling going to it. Other than that, cable wise, um, basically all these cables will get hidden behind the desk, probably in a part of this J track. The, the J track is definitely going in there, right above the baseboard to hide, if you can see my uh, computer power, then there's an HDMI, a USB, and another Ethernet. All of that's running to my PlayStation, well, except the power and the Ethernet, that's running to the PC. That's how the PlayStation connects from there to the monitors, to the Elgato, and to the microphone. If you guys can see, I kind of knocked it over an accident. Anyway, so there's that. And then for the rest of the cables back here pretty much belong to the three monitors. I will basically be able on every one of these, I think, except for this HDMI because it's not quite long enough yet. I will be getting a new HDMI. I will just find a creative way to make that kind of blend in. But for now, I guess it'll kind of stick out a little bit. Anyway, the other ones, if you guys can see, I'm not sure if I can get a good angle. But anyway, right under there, there's a cable management loop where I am going to essentially pick up the power cords, run it along there, and then drop it down behind that base there so that you can't really see it. Or in some cases, I'll run just along and drop it down the mic arm into the hole there, actually. And then the last thing down here, I know it's filthy, sorry. I haven't vacuumed in here in a good week. Anyway, if you can see my part of the power brick back there, power strip, whatever it's called, I will be putting that in this big storage box here, if you can see what it is. You just put it in there and the cables kind of come out a little neater and it just kind of hides that. That cable I just need to pick up. That will be, these cables there, I think I'm going to put in this thing, which is like a cable management like sock thing. You just kind of like, like fold this end to meet that end and it forms like a little tube. I think it's kind of cool, you can cut it to size. But anyway, yeah guys, that's the plan. First off, we are going to start by drilling a nice little hole right there for the PS4 so that originally, if you guys can see down here, I keep a bunch of my, oh God, these, <laughs> these drawers are bouncing. Anyway, if you guys can see, I keep a bunch of my, like the tech that I you don't really need to be seeing. Like see my, my four terabyte book there, my router, my Wi-Fi thing. And I put the PS4 there and drilled a hole back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But uh, unfortunately, there's not enough airflow. I thought I had a good system worked out for the airflow. Not going to go in depth on that, but I did not. So it's going to have to go up there anyway. I guess it's kind of cool. I guess I'll be able to display my PS4 a little better. But anyway, guys, let's get ourselves started on that. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to mention the last thing when I went to set up the video. This thing just got it in the mail. It's like a, um, I guess you could call it like, it gets the dust out without having an air dust thing. I will make a new video on just this thing alone, but I thought it was kind of cool. I didn't think I was going to have to use it, so I didn't really introduce it, but I guess that kind of worked well there. Um, 
If you guys remember my first uh, cleaning a PC on compressed air thing, that was a joke. Obviously, don't do that. I will be making the real one on how to actually do it soon. But there's that, guys. The hole turned out pretty nice. Got a little bit of dust everywhere, but I will be vacuuming later today. So anyway, let's go ahead and set up our PS4. Alright guys, so there's that. The PS4 is looking pretty freaking good in my opinion. Unfortunately, Sony does not... Sorry guys, my recording accidentally stopped there. As I was saying, unfortunately, Sony does not have a like USB or anything in the back, so I had to put that unsightly cable right there. Had to feed that through the front. Other than that, it looked kind of tidy. I kind of enjoy it, guys. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Anyway, I, th I think that looks better. Better than it sitting on my desk, it's not as loud. And it actually gets some airflow over here, which is good. So, all right, guys, so now we have to tackle. I think we're gonna go for the J track there, and we are going to put it in there. So, I guess we will go ahead and get started on that. Alright guys, so I actually went down and grabbed a saw to use. This side's kind of rough, but it'll be hidden behind this big thing. So let's go ahead and install this and slip our cables behind it. Okay guys, so that looks at least a little better. Um, the power thing for my PC does not quite fit in the uh, thing, but that is just because I am getting another power strip that will be longer and that will fit. So that will actually look better, I think, by the time the setup comes around. And I am getting two longer HDMIs for, that's the second cable, it's kind of just a hair short. So that'll be fixed anyway guys, that actually, I think that looks at least better, even even if those two cables had to stay like that. So uh, yeah guys, now that that's done, time to move on to the bulk of the setup and we're gonna start off with the 3M and the USB um, hub on the other side of the desk. That'll be kind of hard to film, so bear with me guys. Alright guys, so unfortunately you couldn't really see much of that, but anyway, it's completely back there. So we are now good with that, I guess. That actually worked out surprisingly well. I thought it was going to not be quite as nice as it was. I'll have to get a picture under there for you guys. Actually, you know what? I might as well right now see if I can get the camera off the tripod. And we're going to see if I can show you that. Anyway. Sorry guys, my camera did that thing where it didn't record again. Anyway, here we are underneath my desk and there is the, uh, there's the little strip and it connects to the PC through there. So alright guys, that worked kind of well. Happy that worked out. So now um, we are just going to take all our USBs and feed them over the back and then organize them on the top of the desk. Alright guys, let's go ahead and
Okay guys, so that's not too bad of a start. I know I kind of only zoomed in on there, but I was working over here too. Sorry about uh, my lack of camera work there. I was just going intensely hard there. So as you can see, I've basically picked them up off the floor, or off the floor of the desk. And so the last thing I have to work on the audio, this is just my audio cable for when I'm playing games. My mouse, I have an interesting thing I'm going to do with that. The keyboard looks okay. And uh, I'm actually going to take this off the tripod so you guys can see lower to see that it's actually quite a nice little thing. So this is going to be solved by a couple of zip ties and these cool little things I have in that, the storage box. That's also going to be solved by some zip ties and that is also going to be solved back here. Like if you can see right there, those things, that'll be fixed. So the last thing is in that and to fix that with these zip ties. So anyway guys, I'm going to start on that. Okay guys, so this is the smaller one. I, um, I do not really plan on using this one quite yet. There's some extra cable ties, I think. Anyway, so I do not plan on using this one yet, but I do have plans for this one in the near future. So uh, I guess stay on the lookout for that, but I will not be using it at this point. The other things we have in this box, we have these things, which are like nice little cable holes, I guess you could call them. I will, I'm gonna use those on the mouse and I have another plan for those over there. So we have those, and then these are just, they're called hook and loops. They are Velcro kind of ties, and then these are also just some general like cable ties. So we are going to be using these to our full advantage. I'm gonna set this aside for the moment, and we will look at that in just a second, but for now, let's take a look at our cable ties. Alright guys, so that's the extent of using these things on the top of the desk. I probably might use some underneath, but I guess yeah, I can't really film that for you guys. Um, so yeah, basically what I did was with these, I put that one there to so the mouth. Mouse looks a little neater. And on the back, I used one and one of these things to be able to hide my, um, my spare like headphone cord that's plugged into the monitor for when I play PS4. It's just easier to keep it plugged in, but it's kind of unsightly, so that's why I put it back there. So now, let's get these straightened out.
All right, guys, so there's that. I guess this one looks moderately better. I'll try and show you a little bit. Ugh. Hard to fit in the tripod through these tight places, but I guess that looks a little better. At least it's going down in one like unit. Now the last one we are going to do with the hook and loop. I guess we've got two. We have one back there, the post back there, right there, and there. We have to do that to those two. Let me just move the camera so I can get in here. And let's get started. Oh, sorry, I kicked the camera, guys. But anyway, I think that looks a little better. You can see it just at the weird angle that the camera's at right now. But overall, you can't see it pretty much at all. And so our last one will be going over here. Alright guys, so that almost wraps it up for the top of the desk here. I did get that cable manage. It looks a thousand, thousand, thousand times better guys. Now we just have to work back there a little bit. Maybe find something better for that. I'm not sure there is much better honestly. Just because the cables just simply aren't long enough. And yeah, now we just have to put our big box over here into play and work a little bit more. Sorry, most of this is going to be under the desk. It's going to be hard to film, but I'll see what I can do, guys. Anyway, let's get started. Alright guys, so I don't know how much of that you could really see, but if you can see right now, that is that big wrap that I cut and used, so you can't see the cables. There's the box back there. Cleaned up the wires behind there. The USB hub is like right on the other side of this thing, about right there. And so yeah guys, that is that. Cable management done well in my mind. Honestly, you can't really see many cables. I know the whole thing is still uh, pretty freaking dirty, but hey, that's what tomorrow's for, to see the whole thing clean and in action, guys. So that's how you do cable management right there. Get yourself some of these. You gotta get yourself some of the, um, the hook and loop Velcro things. They really helped. The biggest thing I can say that helped is the hook and loop Velcro things, and then either way you like hiding cables, whether it's the like flexible roll thing, 
or it's the D big J track here. I use both of them. I think they're good for different scenarios, definitely. Like I don't think I could have used a J track there and I think this thing will look out of place right there. So anyway guys, yeah, I'm kind of happy. I might fix that up back there just a little bit before tomorrow's actual setup reveal thing. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and don't forget to stay tuned tomorrow. Probably uploaded the setup around one o'clock on Sunday if you guys are really excited and can't wait to watch it. So yeah guys, that's the uh, cable management. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day. Get fresh off the ground, nigga, keeping it hot. Get fresh off the ground, get fresh off the ground. Now I'm bouncing the hopper, nigga, you can't stop me.